Beauty is the soul striving to make itself visible. T.C. Henley, Beauty, 1851. Hi everyone! As I put on some makeup, I'll tell you about why I'm choosing the aesthetics program. It offered two things that I love, skincare and makeup. Makeup is important to me because it's not only a creative outlet, but it is also a coping mechanism. When I'm not playing with makeup, you can find me watching makeup gurus on YouTube while doing skincare masks and nails for self-care. All of the makeup I use today, I found by watching reviews and tutorials. Today I'm choosing to go into aesthetics because I love working in the spa industry and I love skincare and makeup. While working in massage, I grew to love seeing the difference in a person from the beginning to an end of the session. Sometimes a client would be dragging their feet into the spa but would practically float out of there. I look forward to seeing the same change in my client again within this realm of personal service. I fell in love with makeup at a young age by watching my mother glam every morning. Her beauty ritual was so captivating to watch, as she would not only do a full face of makeup and hair, but she would also use two types of Ardell lashes to complete her look, using both the classic wispies that were so iconic of the 80s and individual lashes in strategic locations to really make her eyes pop. When I was a teenager, my older sister that didn't live with us came to visit. She asked me about my skincare routine because at the time I had terrible acne. When I confessed that I didn't have any and didn't know what she was talking about, she taught me all things Mary Kay. She had the whole face set and she gave it to me and I felt so fancy. Even today, I struggle with acne. However, I now have some better options. I see a dermatologist for my major skin issues, and the Clarsonic helps with the cystic acne on my face. Having found the tools and help that work for me, I hope to bring some help and guidance to others that need it. My dad had a quote for every occasion, and he knew this one from memory. He would recite it to us when things got tough. It's called, Press On. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. Calvin Coolidge. Last year when my sister got married, we used a mobile glam squad, and I can't tell you how hard it was to first find the mobile glam squad, and second, how great the experience was in having a glam squad come to us instead of running one more errand on the morning of a wedding. Having the trouble we had finding the squad, I can see an opportunity now to offer something that isn't found every day. As I use my knowledge and experience from esthetician school, I plan to open a mobile business going to clients to perform services in the comfort of their own homes and spaces. Thank you for your time.